Can you believe that Colazzo was more of an underdog than Buster Douglas when he fought Mike Tyson? Now, ain't that some shit? <laughs> because I told everybody that don't underestimate Colazzo. I don't know why people saying that Keith Thurman is cherry picking Colazzo. If he's cherry picking, he won't be picking Colazzo, okay? Because Colazzo is known for making upsets, such as when he, in my opinion, beat Berto when he was undefeated. He also beat Ricky Hatton when he was undefeated. You know, a lot of people say he got robbed. He also um, knocked out Ortiz. So this guy is known for making upsets. Most of his losses are controversial. It's not like he got dominated. The only fight he looked bad in was Amir Khan. And that's because I told y'all Amir Khan is the type of fighter. If he fights a southpaw, he was he most likely he will dominate. Because he does he does very well against southpaws due to the fact that an orthodox fighter throws a left hook from short range and Khan is vulnerable for that. But from a southpaw position, all Amir Khan have to do is dominate the lead hand and, he, you know, watch out for the left and he'd be all right from that. He, you know, it's all from the amateur experience. So, be, but Keith Thurman is not no Amir Khan. Keith Thurman is fast, though. But the only thing about him, he don't have the IQ that Amir Khan has when it comes to southpaws. He he don't deal that well with southpaws. He, I think Keith Thurman would rather fight an orthodox fighter than a southpaw. But Khan is the opposite. Anyways, like in my opinion, if Amir, if Floyd Mayweather was a southpaw, I would have picked Khan to beat him. But now, hell no, nah, I ain't picking no Khan to beat no Floyd Mayweather. Not after his last uh, performance, but <clears throat> like I said, so I don't know why people was picking your boy, you know, saying that Keith them are going to knock him out easy. I, I just didn't see that happening. All I was looking at for this fight is how how well Keith Thurman is going to perform. Is he going to be able to produce a knockout, which I was like, mm, you know, most likely he won't, he wouldn't be able to. But hey, he did it anyways. I know that a lot of people are gonna say, well, he didn't knock him out. That was uh, um, you know, Colazzo stopped it, or some some people might say he quit. But at the end of the day, I think Colazzo got hurt in the eighth, but in the seventh round. At the end of the seventh round, go watch it. Keith Thurman landed a crazy right hook on him, a crazy right hook. I think that really hurt him, and he was like, you know, I had it. You know, and the cut was already troubling him, so he was like, you know what? I ain't winning on the scorecards. This guy ain't going nowhere. He's just going to keep throwing haymakers at me. So, you know, let me get, get out of my, you know, get out of the fight while I still can on my feet. That's what I think happened. So, technically, he did stop him. So, I don't want to hear, oh, Collage just quit, blah, blah, blah. He got the I Heyman call. Nah. It was just the fact that, Keith Thurman really hurt him at the end of the seventh round. He was hurting him all night, man. I got to give it to Colazzo. He has a hell of a freaking chin. Now, going back to the Keith Thurman topic, I know a lot of people saying Keith Thurman got exposed. But Keith Thurman didn't get exposed. The only thing he showed is the heart of a champion and the fact that he can he could keep going when the going get tough. In the Guerrero fight, his head was this big, you know. He kept going. He stayed focused. In this fight, he got hurt bad. I guarantee you, 99.99% of the people, I ain't, I'm not even going to say the fighters, I'm talking about everybody, the whole world wouldn't be able to stand to that shot and keep going. Most likely, a lot, a lot of people would have been knocked down, and only some would have been knocked down. But not too many people could take a, such a shot and keep going. I know I would have been able to take that shit, bruh. <laughs> but to be serious, like I said, 99.99% of the people out there want to be able to take that shot. So shut your asses up. But 95% of the fighters wouldn't even be able to take that shot. Like I'm talking about the boxers. I guarantee you, I could have even said 99% of them. I don't think they could take that that body shot because it was a, a perfect landed body shot. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I call a rigging that type of body shot. 
you know, Regan Dye, if y'all see how he catch people and knock people out to the body, he wait for them to throw the right hand. He times them. So as soon as they throw the right hand, either he catches it and throw his uppercut to the body, or he slips to the inside, which is dangerous, and throws his uppercut to the body at the same time. Not a lot of people could do that. Colazzo timed it perfectly, and he caught him with it. Now, again, I'm impressed by Keith Thurman because he's been able to... He got hurt on the chin before with, um, damn, Karras, yeah. And he came back. He recovered quick. And he got hurt to the body now, and he came back. I was disappointed by Colazzo because Colazzo didn't go to the body like he was supposed to after. You know, like the next, the round after, he should have been killing him to the body. He should have went back at Keith Thurman and started murking him to the body. But he didn't. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. He started headhunting. Yo, you, the body still hurt. I guarantee you his body still hurt. Why Why the hell is you chasing his, you know, you know his head? I mean, I don't understand Colazzo. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. Anyways, so what I was looking at was not the fact that Keith Thurman got hit with, hurt with a body shot. I mean, the, if you take that round out of the equation... What grade will you give Keith Thurman? If you take that out of the equation, or out of the fight, Keith Thurman won almost every round to look good. Other than Colazzo was still looking dangerous in every round. So, so what? But what I was looking at in the first, second round, when Colazzo was moving away from, um, you know, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> when Colazzo was moving away from uh, Keith Thurman, you will notice that Keith Thurman will come at him, right? And Keith Thurman will, you know, like try to measure uh, Colazzo with the lead hand. And the right hand, he was like letting Colazzo know I'm about to throw the right hand. You know what I'm saying? He didn't keep it steady and just throws it when Colazzo is not expecting it. No, nah, he's like, he, he keeps shaking it or when he throws it, he will pull back, then throw the right hand. Which this is called telegraphing. When you... Don't throw the straight right hand right away like this. You pull back and throw it. Or you f you you uh, move your right hand before you throw it. That's called telegraphing. That's what Keith Thurman was doing. And that's why Colazzo was able to avoid it. Go back to the first and second round. You will see Keith Thurman kind of, like before he throw the right hand, he will pull back and throw it. Or pull his shoulder back and throw it. Now if you are uh, a, def a defensive genius, or not, not even Colazzo will notice it. Like... You don't even have to wait for for Keith Thurman to throw the shot. As soon as you see his shoulder move, you notice, oh, he's about to counter me. Oh, he's about to throw the right hand. So you could either avoid it or counter it, you know. Um, Colazzo was just avoiding it. Now, uh, more of a, a a skillful fighter like a, a Floyd Mayweather, even um, Cal Brook will be able to counter that. Even, I think, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't look at when... Um, Colazzo hurt Keith Thurman on the ropes, but it's probably, again, like I said, maybe Keith Thurman was on the ropes and he telegraphed the right hand, and that's how Colazzo was sure, oh, okay, I'm going to slip the right hand and catch him with a body shot. So that's, again, Keith Thurman has to work on that because he has a rhythm like that's noticeable. When he's about to attack, he goes into this rhythm, and you know he's about to do something. So he has to correct that and be more calm and just let it flow without, you know, telegraphing his shots and that's the only thing I saw wrong with Keith Thurman today that I was like mm, I don't know how he will deal with Keith Thurman but if I mean with Floyd Mayweather but if he was the shot you know if he wanted Floyd to take his own let it go and fight Floyd but also Spinks could capitalize on that and Spinks was you know it's another video to make but you know he says well he will murk that boy but at the same time I know where Keith Thurman coming from saying that Spinks haven't even fought a B-level fighter yet. Let that fight build up. But hey, if that fight happens now, who cares? Let's see it. But Spinks will be a problem. I'm telling y'all. Spinks will be a problem for him because of the inside. Uh, Keith Thurman, like I said again and again and again, he's big. He's powerful. But he need to learn how to fight in the inside because he moves too much unnecessarily. He could fight in the inside. And catch and shoot, semi, um, what's his name, Gary Russell, the way he does it. 
on his uh, the way he did it on his last fight, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just catch and shoot in the inside with your power and size advantage, you will do well and save yourself a lot of energy because you moving around gets you tired, man. I don't know if y'all know, but that shit gets you tired, especially if you're throwing a lot of power shots like Keith Thurman does and you're still moving. That's too much. So Keith Thurman has to correct these things and he'd be all right. But other than that, you know, still be, I don't know what people, like, <laughs> this is the thing. When people look at boxing, oh, he got exposed. But they say things that don't even matter. Like, oh, he got exposed because he got, because he got caught with a body shot? Come on, man. If you're going to pick something and say he got exposed, be pacific. I mean, everybody going to be going to get caught. That, that type of body shot dropped my Donna with Amir Khan. And Amir Khan is not... You know, he just caught him with a perfect body shot. He had Maidana going. Like, Maidana just, he, I ain't going to say he almost quit, but he thought about it at least. <laughs> you know, so Keith Thurman stood on his feet and kept going. And came back and won the rounds after. But like I said, I don't understand how people think. They just look at, when I look at boxing, I look at the details. Y'all look at the, the little picture. I try to look at the big picture. Anyways. Drop your comments and let me know what y'all think.